it's FIF Sportsman. It's Lamont. We back, back with another video, um, news and announcements for today, uh, for July fifteenth, twenty twenty. Um, today, uh, a really, at least a really special video to me. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, basketball being played, and no, we're not talking about the NBA. Uh, we know we have NBA basketball coming up towards the end of the month, but leading into that, we actually just had the TBT basketball tournament, uh, a really popular uh, basketball tournament that's played uh, every summer uh, where players can play for $2 million. The winning team gets $2 million to split amongst its players. And for a lot of players, that's a lot of money, a lot of life-changing money where they, you know, again, support their families, support, support their communities and things of that nature. Now, with, with the pandemic this year, um, the tournament even being played was affected. Um, affected to the degree that it, it was almost canceled. Uh, the tournament directors actually did a really good job this year of finding a way to piece this tournament together. So normally the prize for the winning team is $2 million. Uh, this year they have to reduce that prize to $1 million. They needed to allocate those additional funds to cover you know, testing, uh, isolated facilities for all the participating teams. And you know, when I look at the setup that the TBT tournament had, uh, I really, really think that they gave the NBA a really good small scale format of how to run a bubble successfully. Um, now, when it re with regards to the TBT, we didn't have a lot of guys breaking, breaking quarantine and things of that nature. For the most part, um, according to reports that I have, these players stuck to the quarantine, um, you know, their accommodations again they weren't the luxury hotels that the nba players might be having in disney you know they were just standing just standard hotels down in columbus ohio but again these players uh, they were able to maintain their quarantine they essentially had an entire hotel just for tbt employees and tbt tournament players where all of these players stayed um, and again they fed everyone meals um, they gave them the best accommodations that they potentially could. None of the players complained. And it actually turned out to be a really, really great and competitive tournament. So, um, you know, before we get into playing the highlights of the championship game, I want you guys to make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Again, videos like this, uh, again, will be coming out daily. You don't want to miss these videos, uh, videos like this. Uh, videos that we got coming out later on this week. We got some really uh, great interviews and topics that we're going to be touching on. You don't want to miss those videos. The only way you know when those videos drop is if you hit that notification bell. So make sure you take the time right now, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And, and once you do that, we can move on to these highlights. But again, I just kind of want to break down the format that the TBT tournament had uh, for this particular bubble. Um, Again, they did a really good job of keeping these, testing these players, testing them before they entered into this uh, small scale bubble. And then while they were there, they were able to continue testing these players. So they did a really good job as far as taking into consideration the health and safety of every player. They conducted over 3,000 tests during uh, the course of this uh, tournament. Uh, and, and again, I just really commend these guys for putting together such a great plan in a short amount of time. So when we talk about the competition involved with the TBT tournament, you know, we're talking about guys like Joe Johnson, uh, guys like Travis Diener, uh, Jared Soliver, Jordan Crawford. These are all players that competed in the TBT tournament. We're looking at former lottery picks, uh, former NBA players, uh, guys that are currently playing overseas, guys that are pl currently playing in the G League. So again, this is not just not your run of the mill basketball. If you watch these games, the first thing that you saw that these guys were playing at a, a very high level, they all were out competing. And again, when you're playing for a million dollars, obviously you're going to see guys competing, keep competing their hearts out. So that's what I really appreciate about this tournament. You had, again, you had guys like Joe Johnson. You know, you know, he has millions of dollars in the bank. Um, he, he would have donated his winnings to charity from what I was told. But again, you got guys like that willing to come down and play in a league in a tournament like this. That just tells you what type of tournament it is and, and the competition level. So unfortunately, the team that Joe Johnson played on, unfortunately, that team actually did not end up winning the championship. They lost in the semifinals 
They lost to a team that you're about to see now. Again, we're about to run some highlights of the championship game, but they lost to a team called Sideline Cancer, and the opposing team for them in the championship game was a team uh, made of Marquette University players. So again, a lot of these teams, a lot of the teams that make up the TPT tournament, um, they're usually a group of overseas players that are already familiar with each other, or they're usually former college players who all played on the same team that want to put together a team. So we had Purdue University do that. We had Syracuse University put together a team. And again, uh, if you look throughout this tournament, the team is filled with former D1 college players, former NBA players, current overseas players, current G League players. You know, you got guys like Frank Nitty in this tournament. And he's on the same team with Joe Johnson. That just tells you what type of competition is in the TBT tournament. So again, I don't want to. I want to keep these highlights away from you guys too much longer. Again, we're going to see some some great highlights of two teams um, that battled all the way to the championship game. And um, again, like I said, for me, it was just it, it was all for the love of the game. I love watching basketball. Uh, not just watching it, but just kind of breaking down, you know, are the guys really out there competing? Are the guys playing in some type of structured system? And with these teams, you saw each team had a coach, each team had structure, each team came out to play hard. And again, you'll see in the highlights um, how the TPT tournament was able to put this tournament together, um, how they use camera angles to to make it better on the eye. Obviously, you don't want to see, you know, as, as someone watching on TV, you don't want to see just a whole bunch of empty seats. So again, you're gonna see a lot just in this one highlight clip, um, aside from great basketball. So we're gonna, I'm not gonna hold you up too long. We're gonna go ahead and get to this video, and then we're gonna recap it after that. the champions of TBT. All right, so as you guys just saw, uh, we saw the Marquette Golden Eagles TBT tournament team take down Sideline Cancer. Now, going into this game, Sideline Cancer was the favorite. They were the favorite to win after putting out Overseas Elite. Overseas Elite was the number one seed overall. That's the team that consisted of uh, Joe Johnson and Frank Nitty on the same team. So, again, Overseas Elite has won this tournament four times. Um, when this tournament was created, they won it four years in a row, just right out the gate. So again, that just tells you the strength of that roster. But whenever you can bring uh, a player of uh, Joe Johnson's caliber onto your roster and then combine them with uh, a great a great guard in Frank Nitty, um, 
obviously they were deserving of the number one seed. But again, when you have guys, um, you know, coming from all over the country, guys coming from overseas, guys coming up out of the G League, and you're putting them into a, a single elimination tournament like this, and they're all playing for a million dollars, single elimination, anything can happen. And so, um, as we saw two days ago, Joe Johnson and his team, where they were put out by sideline cancer. Now, going into this game, I did think that sideline cancer were the favorites um, over the last couple years. Um, they made some really, really strong performances in the TBT tournament. So again, I thought they would pull the win out, but what we saw from, we saw the performance from uh, Marquette. Um, surprisingly, uh, Travis Diener uh, was, a, was a, actually a really, really, um, a really important piece to that team. And he's actually a 38 year old uh, former Marquette Golden Eagle player. Um, he was known in his college career for knocking down deep threes. And as we saw in that highlight, um, he did what he does best. They left him open in the corner. He was able to drain that game winning shot. So uh, again, if you guys uh, have not watched the TBT tournament, I really, really suggest that you guys go back and watch some of those games, watch some of those highlights, because again, it's some high level basketball. And, and, and the, the best thing that it showed me, it showed me that if the, the bubble concept could work on a small scale, it could definitely work on a larger scale. So again, I know a lot of NBA officials were looking at how this would play out down there. Um, and again, as I told you before earlier, they were able to isolate an entire hotel just for TBT turn staff and players, um, short distance uh, from the arena that they played in. Um, only three positive COVID tests during the course of the tournament, and those players were immediately quarantined. Um, they, they had specific rules. They had specific rules where if a player on your team, if a player on your team tested positive, then your team would be disqualified. So unfortunately, there were three teams that got disqualified because of the COVID testing. But again, when you're dealing with something like this pandemic, you have to take uh, very strategic and strict actions when someone does come up with a positive test. Um, so as, as unfortunate it was for those teams that couldn't participate, um, it was for the best um, when you're looking at the overall health uh, and player safety of everyone involved in this tournament. So again, I, I definitely want to give a big shout out to all of the guys who participated in the TBT tournament. Man, another great year. I was really glad that you guys were able to pull this off. Um, just to see that you can come together. That just shows, again, that shows how organized the TBT tournament is. These officials did a great job. You look at ESPN did a great job um, televising the event. The announcers did a great job of calling every game. So again, they gave it that uh, authentic feel. The games are highly competitive and I loved it. So basketball is back. Uh, the next up is gonna be the NBA. So I'm curious if this NBA can top what we saw with the TBT tournament. You know, hopefully we can see that same high level quality of basketball. Hopefully they're able to give it that same type of feel where you won't, you don't really notice that there's no crowd present. Um, and, and again, as long as the players are out there playing their hearts out, um, we'll be we'll be here watching, we'll be here supporting, and, and, and we'll be watching. So um, again, make sure you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're gonna be dropping a lot of videos this week. We got some really, really big time interviews coming up that you don't want to miss. Um, don't want to announce any names yet, but again, we got some really, really big interviews coming up. Uh, we're going to be headed out to Las Vegas. We're going to be dropping a few uh, videos out there as well. And so hopefully if everything pans out, we're going to be bringing you guys some great content here in the next few days. But again, FYF Sports for another great uh, news and updates video. Uh, FYF Sports, we out.